Picture this, a dimly lit room, the flickering glow of a black and white screen casting shadows on the walls. The year is 1955, and you find yourself entangled in the narrative web of East of Eden. It's not just a movie, it's an immersive journey that transcends the boundaries of celluloid. Remember that first encounter, the crackling anticipation as you settled into your seat, the reel starting its rhythmic dance through the projector, faces illuminated by the glow of the silver screen, emotions simmering beneath the surface. James Dean's brooding intensity, Julie Harris' poignant grace characters etched into the fabric of your memory. And then, those moments that linger like sepia-tinted snapshots. The clash of generations, the relentless pursuit of identity, and the echoing whispers of a bygone are all intricately woven into the tapestry of East of Eden. Perhaps it was a line that struck a chord or a scene that left you breathless, suspended in time. As we delve into the depths of this cinematic masterpiece, let's embark on a journey beyond the surface. Random facts, untold stories, and hidden gems await discovery. Peel back the layers of celluloid history and uncover the threads that bind this classic to the annals of film lore. So, fasten your seatbelt as we navigate through the labyrinth of East of Eden, where every frame tells a story and every fact unveils a new dimension. Ready to unearth the mysteries and revelations that have long remained obscured by the sands of time. Lights, camera, revelation, let the journey begin. East of Eden, the 1955 film directed by Alia Kazan, is a cinematic adaptation of John Steinbeck's sprawling novel. The narrative unfolds against the backdrop of a tumultuous period in American history, exploring complex familial dynamics and the struggle for identity. At its core are the Trask brothers, Cal and Aaron, portrayed by James Dean and Richard Davalos, respectively. Dean's performance, in particular, is iconic, capturing the essence of rebellious youth and internal conflict. The film's unique style lies in its emotional depth and its ability to weave a tapestry of human emotions. The lush cinematography and Leonard Rosenman's evocative score contribute to the film's enduring impact. East of Eden not only stands as a powerful adaptation of Steinbeck's work, but also as a cultural touchstone that resonates with themes of morality, acceptance, and the perennial struggle between good and evil. Its influence on subsequent storytelling and its imprint on popular culture endure, making it a timeless exploration of the human condition beautifully. James Dean's method acting intensifies off-screen drama in East of Eden in the 1955 film East of Eden. James Dean's commitment to method acting extended beyond the screen, particularly in his interactions with co-star Raymond Massey. As a devoted method actor, Dean intentionally provoked Massey off-camera to heighten the tensions between their characters. This off-screen tension added depth and authenticity to the on-screen conflict contributing to the film's emotional intensity. Another noteworthy aspect of the film's production involves James Dean's influence on co-star Richard Davalos. Davalos revealed that with Dean's assistance, he became so immersed in the role of the brother that it took him two years to fully detach from the character. Their commitment went beyond the set, as the two actors, sharing a small apartment, lived out their character's dynamics in real life. Davalos recalled instances where their on-screen relationship bled into their social life, with Dean and Davalos embodying their characters to the teeth. The intensity of their interactions, including scenes of rejection and pursuit, left a lasting impact on Davalos long after the film wrapped. Interestingly, at the time of the film's release, James Dean faced criticism from several critics who were unimpressed with his acting. Many accused him of imitating the style of Marlon Brando. Both the New York Times and Variety were particularly harsh in their reviews, dismissing Dean as a mere imitation of Brando. Despite these critiques, Dean's performance in East of Eden has since gained recognition and praise, with many considering it a defining moment in his tragically short career. In conclusion, the behind-the-scenes dynamics between James Dean and his co-stars, coupled with the criticism he faced for his acting style, add layers of intrigue to the legacy of East of Eden. Dean's commitment to method acting and the off-screen relationships with his fellow actors provide a fascinating glimpse into the intensity that fueled this classic film. Unveiling behind-the-scenes dynamics of East of Eden in the annals of cinema history, the 1955 film East of Eden stands as a cinematic landmark, 
Directed by Elia Kazan, the movie not only brought James Dean to the forefront of Hollywood, but also featured the talent of Julie Harris in a pivotal role. Elia Kazan, in retrospect, regarded Julie Harris as one of the most beautiful people I've known in my life. He attributed her impact on the film, claiming she played a crucial role in getting James Dean through the production. According to Kazan, Harris' voice, lack of pretension, intensity, and the delicate balance of purity and sexual awareness she brought to her role were indispensable. It was a blend that the character demanded, and Harris delivered with finesse. James Dean, on the other hand, exhibited a characteristic defiance during the premiere of East of Eden. His refusal to attend the premiere party nearly jeopardized his role in the upcoming film Rebel Without a Cause. This act of rebellion, however, didn't go unnoticed. It became a testament to Dean's enigmatic persona, a harbinger of the rebellious spirit he would soon bring to the iconic character of Jim Stark in his next film. For Lonnie Chapman, who played Roy in East of Eden, the directorial approach of Alia Kazan was unique. Kazan, known for his meticulous direction, instructed Chapman to immerse himself in the role by spending a week learning everything about the new Model T car. The scene, in which Roy explains the intricacies of the car to Adam, was scheduled to be filmed that Friday. Kazan's directive reflected his belief in the actor's contribution, aiming for a genuine portrayal that extended beyond the script. In the world of East of Eden, every detail mattered, even the nuances of a scene involving a Model T car. The collaboration between Kazan, Harris, and Dean forged a cinematic masterpiece that remains embedded in the cultural consciousness. And so, the behind-the-scenes dynamics of East of Eden unfold, revealing the interplay of talent, defiance, and directorial precision that shaped a classic. The film continues to be a touchstone in Hollywood history, a testament to the convergence of stars, directorial prowess, and the unpredictable essence of James Dean. Headline, Kazan's Personal Struggle and Cinematic Rebellion in East of Eden Alia Kazan, director of the 1955 film East of Eden, found a personal resonance in the story, mirroring his strained relationship with his father. Much like the character Adam Trask in the novel, Kazan's own father was stern and unforgiving, disapproving of his son's chosen path. This familial tension fueled Kazan's desire to craft a film that served as an attack on the puritanical point of view embodied by Trask. Kazan, known for his bold cinematic choices, used East of Eden as a canvas to challenge the restrictive ideals of the time. The character of Adam Trask became a vessel for Kazan to explore and critique the puritanical mindset that dominated the era. Through the lens of his own experiences, Kazan aimed to dismantle societal norms that stifled individuality and self-expression. In a parallel struggle on the film set, actor James Dean, who portrayed the rebellious and conflicted Cal Trask, harbored a disdain for the makeup process. According to co-star Richard Davalos, Dean and others would sneak into the bathroom throughout filming to rub off layers of makeup, revealing a commitment to authenticity. I don't think we had any makeup on at the end of the day, remarked Davalos, highlighting Dean's resistance to conforming to conventional Hollywood standards. The tension wasn't confined to familial and artistic dimensions. Behind-the-scenes conflicts arose during casting particularly with Jack L. Warner's resistance to Julie Harris. Despite her acting prowess, Warner opposed Harris due to an age gap of a decade between the actress and her character. This discord sheds light on the challenges and negotiations involved in bringing the characters of John Steinbeck's novel to life on the silver screen. East of Eden stands as a cinematic rebellion against societal norms, both in its narrative and the creative process. Kazan's personal connection to the story and Dean's defiance against makeup norms underscore the film's commitment to authenticity and its bold departure from the Hollywood conventions of the time. In the turbulent landscape of 1950s cinema, East of Eden emerged as a symbol of artistic resistance, challenging not only the puritanical mindset depicted in the film, but also the industry norms that sought conformity. It remains a testament to the power of storytelling when infused with personal struggles and a determination to break free from the confines of the status quo. As we bid adieu to the cinematic journey through the evocative landscapes of East of Eden, let the echoes of its poignant narrative linger in the corridors of your mind. Like a timeless tapestry woven with threads of love, betrayal, and the eternal quest for acceptance, this classic stands as a testament to the human condition. 
As you reflect upon the character's tumultuous odyssey, consider the parallels that resonate with the symphony of your own experiences. Are there echoes of Cal's inner turmoil within your own struggles for identity and acknowledgement? Does the scenic backdrop of Selena's Valley transport you to the fields of your own nostalgia? Share your reflections, your musings, and the fragments of your soul that found resonance in this celluloid masterpiece. The power of storytelling lies not just in the frames captured by the lens, but in the intimate dialogue it sparks within each viewer. Your memories, your insights, and your connection to East of Eden contribute to the kaleidoscope of interpretations that enrich the legacy of this cinematic gem. So, let the conversation continue. Unveil your thoughts like petals unfurling in the dawn, for in this exchange, we bridge the temporal gap between 1955 and now. In a world inundated with fleeting distractions, the ability of a movie to endure, to provoke contemplation, is a testament to its enduring magic. Your thoughts become a stitch in the fabric of its timelessness. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey, for lending your eyes and your heart to the tale spun by East of Eden. Your perspective is a brushstroke on the canvas of shared storytelling. Until our narratives entwine again, may your reflections be as vivid as the silver screen that brought this tale to life. With gratitude.